Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back again with another MTG Arena video. I'm going to get back into my journey for Mythic Rank uh, tonight. I am trying a different deck. Uh, I've been watching um, a lot of other people actually making a very similar videos uh, where they're climbing up through the ranks. And one of the decks that really kind of caught my attention was the deck that ran four Niv-Mizzets as opposed to the two that I'm running. And I've been thinking about that a lot before I actually saw those decks and I've been thinking a lot more since. Niv has just been an amazing addition to the Is It Drake's deck. So what do you drop out to get them in there? Well, I had the two Goblin Electromancers, and I kind of like, meh, I can shove those off, and I can probably still keep uh, four Nivs. But then I wanted to kind of toss in a couple other things to try to keep Niv on the board. So let's go ahead and take a look at the new deck I'm going to be running with. At its core, uh, as you can tell, it is basically still the same deck. Um, three Dive Downs, four Ops, two Spell Pierces, four Shocks. Uh, four charter courses. These are your quick fast spells, draw cards, um, be able to build up those drakes relatively bigs. The three lava coils, I did have four in the deck before for the mirror match, but Niv kind of helps take care of that mirror match because uh, you can cast enough spells to just kind of like burn them down. Uh, Discovery, of course, giving you some more draw mechanics, and then the four Nigman drakes, the four crackling drakes, four Niv Mizzets, uh, nine islands, seven mountains, uh, two of each different artwork guild gate just because those are the ones I have. Uh, I have bumped up to two steam vents and two sulfur falls. So without further ado, let's get into some ranked play. I, I play tested this deck quite a bit uh, before starting recording uh, and not in ranked, but it is a bunch of a bunch of fun it really is so i think we're sitting at gold four i think we're two ticks on gold four if i recall correctly eh, really wish i had more blue to start off with but this will work no niv yet but the but with having four in there i will see him soon i think i might go with the tap land first does put me a turn behind, because even when this comes down, I still can't re- eh. I'm a turn behind no matter what I do on that one, so let's go ahead and play that. Be a gentleman and say hello. A little lacking in the blue. That's actually kind of concerning to start off with. Hmm, maybe. My goodness, what's he taking? It? Fire urchin. That's interesting. That is an interesting card. Um, so we saw this a lot. I don't know if you call the caught the video we put up uh, yesterday or not. With uh, my son and I uh, playtesting the uh, the um, planeswalker decks against each other. But those are, <laughs> those can be interesting. That's an interesting addition if he's going for the burn decks. That could be, an, yeah, I could see that. I could totally see that. All right, let's go with the Enigma Drake. Let's see what he's got. He's definitely a patient, taking his time, deciding how he wants to do this. Uh, block the one, two. I'll take the two damage. He probably has a lightning strike in hand. Oh, that was an interesting glitch. Yep. So I need to kind of keep that one in mind. See, why wouldn't he have done that before? Like, he really, he really got the timing off on that one cor incorrectly. So, I think I'm going to chart a course, dump the mountain. Yeah. And we'll wait. What I, cause I really want to do is I need a... I'd really like a mountain. 
So let's burn down that. Really need another island so I can guarantee that Crackling Jake stays stays alive with the uh, the dive down. Okay. Nice. To Oh, I thought I had another one untapped. Well, this is not a good start. Goblin Chain Roller. These are interesting additions. I like that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and go down with Enigma Drake. And we're going to hold. So, if he tries to shock it, lightning strike it, something like that along those lines, uh, I'm just going to dive down. And then I'll have enough to kill the Chain Whirler. He is going to get me on lightning strike. Er, yep. Ooh, flame of hell. Okay, so now we got to start taking things a little bit more seriously. So we're going to shock that. We're going to lava coil that. And we're going to hold because he is going to get more cards. I mean, one lightning strike and we're basically dead. Chain Whirler works for me. Because then he can shock me and I die. No, oh, the Vaishino. Nice. Very nice. Alright. Yeah, no, I was really thrown off by the, the Fire Urgent. I've not seen that. That's an interesting addition to a Red Burn build. Um, you don't see a ton of those in there. That's a really cool build. Good for him. So, I did get knocked down gold four. Down a tier. No Niv. That's a shame. Yeah, that was just a weird game overall. Like, none of the stuff that I'm really used to getting out comes out, came out. The upside is I can't go much further down. Spell Pierce. No red, though. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, let's hold it and see what happens. Say hello. Hopefully on the Discover... Uh, ooh, he's playing it as well. We're gonna hold. Wait till he casts that Drake or something else like that. Charter course. I'm okay with that. This will be an interesting mirror match. Does he have Niv? That's the question. I see that I do. Uh, so let's not let the auto tapper screw us on this. Ooh, um, yeah, no, I'm going to keep that. So his first Drake should be out right around now. Wait, why did I not get a chance to counter target spell? It's an instant. I had mana untapped. Why did I not get a chance to untrap? That's cheating. I'm not sure why that happened. And that fuzzled me so much I only realized I didn't only have one red one red mana and only did one shock to him and did that was worthless. Ugh. Yep, no, I'm going to take that and smile. 
sure. Now it lets me do that, but it wouldn't let me do it on the Drake. Interesting. Again, why am I not allowed to cast that? So I'm one mana away from the great equalizer that Niv Mizzet is. Sure. Now I can spell pierce that. But he's got me. Oh, because he has the mana. That's weird. Like, I should have been able to ca cancel those out before. Well, what I need now is a red mana to kind of equalize this out. Yeah. I'm not sure why spell pierce worked that way. Hmm. Huh. Alright, that's that's gonna be game, really. There is not much I can do. I don't under I'm gonna have to go back and look in that at the at the end of the game. Like I don't understand why that didn't work. Like I was holding that counter intentionally to counter not one but both of those drakes to come out and it wouldn't let me cast. It. I recognize it was in the second main phase, but it's an instant. It should have let me do that. <sighs> All right. Try again. Try harder. Shomoka Berenstein. Interesting. Sure. Um, I'm gonna pay the two life just because I want spell pierce on board. Uh, no, I'll hold for one more turn. I still want to keep that spell pierce open. Spell pierce is a great, great spell early game because normally people tap all of their mana to cast whatever it is they're trying to cast. Why? Counter target non creature spell. That's what it is. That's why I can't do it. I'm dumb. I need Essence Scatter. That's the one I'm thinking about. Looks like I'm going to go down to another... Is it Drake there? Uh-huh. I'll take that. I've earned it. So do I Lava Coil his, or do I... Crackling Drake mine? I say I Lava Coil his. And then spell pierce that. Hmm. Yeah, that is what's going to happen. So I'm going to go and do my Crackling Drake. I have t not one but two dive downs on hold and I'm one closer to Niv. Standoff. 
Yep, now he's got his. I'm kind of okay with that. Okay, so I'm going to have everything I need to cast in there whenever it comes down to it. I just need to hold for a turn. And then it starts getting funny. Although he's getting awfully big. We're both waiting on the same. My goodness. Um, so do I cast Niv now? Or do I wait one more turn? I think I cast Niv now. I've got a dive down that I can hold off on him. Okay. No, I'm gonna wait, see what he does. Depending on the amount of spells that he casts, I can start picking off his creatures at this point. And I have another one if he comes up with something like a Deafening Clarion or something like that to kind of wipe everything off the board. Although he'd be taking his own creatures with him. Um. And hence, Niv Mizzet starts to reign terror. I actually have no problem blocking with Niv because I have another one in hand. So we're both going to lose a creature. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I am going to drop a land I can use. I'm going to cast Niv again. And I'm going to hold. I need all my mana open to really have Niv take over. because I'm going to draw two cards and I'm going to kill his Crackling Drake. Th th that's fine, because the more spells you cast...
I guess both are gonna die. All right, so let's start going. We need to get to our Niv. That works. I have no way to save it, so let's go chart a course. We can discard some of this land. Don't need that. Let's go opt. That works. This is going to be trying. I have two more nibs in there. Watch him have a lava coil. I have a boatload of land in my hand. That's the problem. Nope, no lava coil. Perfect. So he's actually dropping cards. He actually dropped a clifftop retreat. Um, hmm. Drop an island. Let's get some more card draw going here. More card draw. That can go. More card draw. Uh, not useful now. Do some damage. Got a whole bunch of land. That means that the other two nibs are near. Such a close game. Hmm. Normally, is it Drake's put in the white simply for deafening clarion, which is an unusual choice to do that? Okay. Yep. I was going to say, I've just got way too much firepower out there for him to be able to handle. So not the way I wanted to win it. I really wanted uh, Niv to be out there, but nonetheless, Drake's is good. It's a good deck. So now we're going to fight back to get back to where we started <laughs> before this began. Javier. Ooh, a whole bunch of ops. Yeah, no, I'm going to keep that. We'll do the pro move, and we will opt on his turn. Twice, probably. Looks like we're playing against Golgari, so this is going to be irritating, to say the least. Uh, that can go and tap. I'm okay with that. So since I know I've got Golgari, I know that I've got things like Raskus Contempt, I've got Cast Downs, I've got things like that to deal with. Shock. I've got to wait one more turn to do that. So I'm just going to wait. I need to keep Dive Down open to keep the Drake alive. I'll shock it on his turn before it gets to do any of that fancy Explore stuff it's going to do. Although Explore still triggers? Interest. Oh no. That's interesting. The Explore still triggers even though she died and he still gets all of his bonuses. That's interesting. Okay, so now I can go ahead and put a Crackling Drake down with confidence that I have a dive down to keep it alive. Mm. 
No, sir. Don't like it. Yes, I can kill it. Well, we can just do nothing. That does need to go away, though. So I need to be on my P's and Q's, because he is going to have removal. Mm-hmm. Am I willing to take four to give five? No. But he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna come up with some type of removal and kill it anyway. I know he is. And that's my boy. So cast downs can't do anything about it. Ravenous can, which is why we do that. Vraska's Contempt is another thing I need to worry about. No, I'm gonna hold. Oh, Groove Walker, he's got a ton of them in there now, don't they? Yep, so I'm going to go ahead and do this, and I'm actually going to kill both. I'm actually kind of okay with that. That's a fair trade. Uh, yeah, I got to do move now. He's only got one card in hand. He's not going to attack. I'm going to draw a card, and I'm going to start doing damage here. Uh, no, I don't need that. I should hold on to another Niv, just in case. I'm gonna wait. All my good draw cards. So unless he pulled a Vraska's, um, I don't know what he's got going on over there. Another wild growth. Yep, makes sense. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna drop that. We're gonna draw two cards and kill that. Mm. Discard that. Start picking off all the other stuff. Let's pick off the branch walker. I 
I think I'm misclicking. I think I'm getting way more damage in here than I should be. Yep, I'm just going to start picking up all of this creature. Heck yeah. I'm just going to annihilate his board state. Uh, that can go. I'm working as fast as I can. No, I'm good. I'll just go through and do all that fun stuff again. Sure. He thinks he's cheeky. But I've got another one in my hand. And another one, no less. Uh, oh, I like both of those. I'm just going to keep the dive down open. So as much as I want to start rolling through all of his cards next, I'm not going to do that. Because he's going to get like a Vraska's or a Jade Light. Okay, that works. Two lands. Struck out. So we're going to Lava Coil that, have that do damage to him, uh, we're going to lay down some land, we're going to Opt, We'll do the Crackling Drake and draw a card. Uh, no, I'm gonna hold the rest of this. Interesting. He's going to try to Vraska's Niv. Sacrifice another permanent you control to gain a life or draw a card. Oh, interesting. That's not what I would have done. I thought she was all oh, three or less. Neither one. She can't do anything to either one of them. Yep. That's going to do it. Holy cow, does Niv take over a game? He's relentless. Oh, 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 what do we get? Creeping chill. Cool. Continue on.
so I have this idea. My son's been talking, trying to convince me, like, for these events here, where I'm grinding out like an hour or two hours of trying to get to, uh, trying to get to mythic rank, to actually stream these on Twitch and then pull them off of Twitch. I do not like that. I have no blue mana, and pull them off of Twitch. Um, to put up on the YouTube channel. So, tell me what you think. I, I sort of semi like the idea. I really wish I had more than just this, but it is what it is. Anyway, so I sort of semi like the idea of streaming on Twitch for two hours as I grind this out for two hours and then cutting it up and putting it up on YouTube for a video in case you don't watch it on Twitch. I like that idea. Let me know what you think in the comments below. below. That'd be awesome. Uh, I'd love to know uh, everyone else's thoughts on that. I think I'm going to wait just a hair. Straight up black, huh? Or is he Golgari and he's just waiting? Hmm. I'm going to wait till next turn. I'm really waiting to see what he comes out with. Chromatic Lantern. Heck no. Dive down. Interesting. Well, let's start the card draw, shall we? My computer might need to restart. That thing is really running laggy. Uh, I need both of those things in that order. I no, they're gonna get to land too. I was gonna say I'd love to be able to have a dive down open so that whatever he's got in that deck doesn't. This is probably, what's the other card that they put in here? The mask that they put in there where it just sits there and copies itself? Yeah, that's an irritating deck. Right for a basic. Okay. I think I'm gonna just shock him just to get the spell out of my hand. Because I've got a lava coil. If he gets something big, I'm kind of okay with. Okay, so do not. Let's see what he's got. Karn. Cute. Let's see, what don't I want you to have? Uh, you can have that. So I'm going to chart our course. Um, I don't want to discard any of them. This does kill Karn, though. I am probably going to regret this. I'll take the Lava Coil. Pitch the land. Probably going to regret that, too. Take Karn out. I'm going to regret not having that dive down open. I can feel it. Or not. Uh, no, that can get her tapped. I'm okay with that. No, sir. I do not permit you. Wow. 
Not one, but two removal spells on one creature. Okay. Demon Lord bells him off. Please burn his entire deck down. Another chromatic lantern. Is he gonna cry whenever I lava coil that twice? And let's draw a couple of let's draw a card. What do we need? Niv would be awesome. Those work too. Well, there's not much I can do about that now, can I? Dive down, dive down. Okay. Where's Niv when I need him? Just some time. I don't see what good game you've got, my friend. You've got a ritual of soot, which you're not going to cast. And what? Oh, they all have menace. None of my quick spells came out. None of my quick spells. I was really hoping for all those draw spells, ops, all that stuff. I could have wiped out his entire board. But instead... Ha! Ah, crushing defeat. Cool, cool deck. Still not sure what he went, with, went for with a chromatic lantern. Like, what was he shooting for? Like, I get that all of those lands could tap for any color of mana at that point, but I'm not sure what he was going for. Everything he, I saw in his hand was black. So I'm not sure what that was about. I feel like there's a list that I know I've seen that was in, that there's other cards that they put in there for that. Hmm. I don't know. We'll have to look it up. I honestly don't know. No red's a little concerning, but I do have chart of course. And opt. Let's see what happens. Probably gonna regret that. What would I pitch if I had to? Hmm. I'm not sure yet. Okay. What are we waiting on? We put land down. I, I recognize it's a hard choice. There we go. He's probably playing the uh, ooh lava coil. I'm going to have to put that down because unfortunately I have no land. That works. That works even more. Uh, 
Uh, I like both of these options, but I'm not going to see... Uh, I really need the land. That's really what I need. I'm not sure what he's holding on. There's nothing at my end step that he can do. He's tapped down. Like, just go. I'm going to chart a course next turn, by the way. Treasure map. Good draw mechanic. I actually really do like that card. I've been told many times by a lot of the folks on here that that should be one of the cards I add. I'm going to chance it. Because I don't want to pitch one. Come on, my friend. He's going to drop his own Drake. Except his Drake, he doesn't have anything to put down with. Really regretting dropping that Lava Coil in the bottom of my deck now. Nothing. Interesting. Uh, so I'm going to wait. And I'm going to go through and attack first and then see what he does. You, I lost that man in the main, first main phase. Oh, that should be. Oh, that was my own mistake. That's okay. Whew. Saved by the bell on that one. So I've got a spell pierce ready if he decides to get his own anything other than a Drake. Or a dive down if he decides a lava coil or something, my Drake. And he's doing... Ah, okay. This is all still on my turn. I should have spell pierced that just because it would have been funny. I need to worry about things like it, like lava coil. My goodness, is he taking his time? Slow, methodical. Okay. I'm gonna drop the red. We are one red away from our boy Niv. We'll just hold here. Any non-creature spell, I think I'm going to spell pierce at this point, just to get the spell out of my hand. And to get mine up to four so that they're in killing range of his drakes. A lava coil would be amazing right now. Just guy. Awesome. I'm not going to waste it. Oh, your boy Niv. Do I wait a turn? I think I wait to my main phase and see what he's got. Actually, I think I'm going to wait one more turn. Because I want to make sure I have a dive down for Niv when it comes out. I 
I actually don't care about killing it that much. He's gonna do something. Now I care about killing it. And I will counter that. So now this got a whole lot worse for you. Um, short of course. Beautiful. Excellent. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> he quits. He recognizes the inf the futility. All right, so we've spent basically an hour getting back to where we were where when we started. Let's try to get one more tick above where we started. Gold's a little bit more challenging. And that is the trick with gold rank. It is a one for one ratio. It's one win you go up, one win you, one loss you go down. So as long as you have a deck that's over 50% win percentage, which this deck really is, you should be okay. I think I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to feign red. Shock whatever one of his little... Oh, interesting. I think I'll op and shock on my turn next, depending on what he does. Oh boy, it's one of those turns. And I will take that. So I've got to be mindful of the counters. So I'm going to wait for just one more turn. Got all the mana I really need. I might just wait until Niv comes out. He's got Deafening Clarion definitely in his, his toolbox over there. Um, yeah, I'm okay spending pain the life, to be honest. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Let's see what we got. Give me something good. Give me Niv. No, but double lava coil is amazing. Search for his canter. Alright, let's try it. We know he's got the counter. You know he's got the counter. No, he doesn't have the counter. I'm actually really surprised by that.
I'm going to assume he has the settle, though. And I'm going to wait. I assume at some point in time Teferi's coming. Okay, so now I'd like to make make him waste a set of the wreckage on one. Guess not. My goodness, I'm getting everything I don't need. I've got plenty of mana. What I need is Niv right now. Yeah, I'll start wasting some of those spells. I'm okay with it. My goodness, where's Niv when you need him? No, I will bide my time. Oh, why couldn't I spell pierce the seal away? I must have missed it. Every land in the book. tempting the other one's going bye bye so maybe he doesn't have to ferry he's not he's not countering anything this is an interesting tech can't counter that no i'm just going to wait And since Rawl's the only thing on the table other than him the target, every time he casts a spell. Well, let's see what the wind blows in. Deafening Clarion. Saw this coming. He's gonna have to count it twice. Couldn't get me another move, could I? In all of that. No. Sure. No. Give me Niv. Come on. Choose wisely because the other one's going 
So now I'm really intrigued to find out what his win conditions are. Like, he's going to have something that he's going to cast that's going to eventually do damage to me. Now the Sinister Sabotage has come out. What's his ultimate? I guess that his ultimate is eventually going to be... Which is why I desperately need Niv, because every time he casts a spell, I should be doing damage to Rawl. Rawl is going to be his win condition. He's one more away from it, so I need something here. Come on, Niv. Help me out here. It works. Wish I had more spells to go along with it. No, I'm sitting here honestly debating if I lava coil Niv, I can start doing damage to Rawl. But then he, all he needs is a shock or something in his hand. You're like, okay, so I've just killed my own Niv. Thanks. So he ultimated. Oh, so he. Ref, oh, okay. So he's laying off his ultimate. Interesting choice. I'm going to hold that until. Like, once Niv comes out, I can start casting that and actually start doing some real damage here. He's going to deck himself before anything else. Oh, that would have been so amazing with Niv in play. That was his ultimate. That was his ultimate. <laughs> right there. Drag me out that long. All right, well, we basically sat down and spun our wheels for an hour. I like the deck. I think too many people are getting used to it, though. So uh, let's reward you. Let's open up a pack here. Let's see what else we got here towards the end. Anything interesting? Anything? Oh, I don't have four of the rare. Fine eyes. Yeah, that actually does kind of belong in... I was really thought I'd see a lot more of that in the, the Is It Drake decks, to be honest with you. I don't know... I don't know. Maybe I'll give it a shot. I know we got like three or four of them at this point, so... Do hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, do you have a niv Mizzet build that I'm not currently playing, and uh, you have ideas on how to better improve this deck? Let me know in the comments down below. That would be fantastic. I would really appreciate it. Um, I also have a Patreon as well. That is going to be patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga. So, until next time, guys, we will see you in the arena. This video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons. If you would like to help out the channel, go to www.patreon.com slash oldguygamingmtga and thank you for your support.